upon a time there was the artist Vincent van Gogh. Oh, beautiful breathing colors. How about we take our breath? And we stretcheth our stretch with your hands up in the air. Make a silly face to stretch your faces. Stretch forward. Ooh, that was a good crack. Yowza! Yes, friends. Vincent van Gogh. He was first an art dealer. And then he was a... Uh, a minister, neither of them worked out quite well, but eventually he became an artist, which is what we know him for now. But while he is a very, very well-known artist now, he was not when he was alive. In fact, if it weren't for his brother, Theo van Gogh, who looks an awful lot like Vincent, maybe the straw hat and the red beard, but I do promise, that's Theo. Vincent, Theo. Vincent, Theo. Theo was an art dealer, and Theo believed in his brother Vincent's work. But other people did not. Theo supported his brother's artwork by giving him money every month so that Vincent can devote himself entirely to art. And Theo and Vincent were very, very close. In fact, they wrote letters non-stop. There are hundreds of letters between Vincent and Theo. It's a big reason why we know so much about Vincent's thoughts and life. Now, writing letters is something we don't do very often anymore. That's too bad. I'd like to bring it back. I'd like you to bring it back with me. I wrote a letter to my dad, and I want to share it with you. Voila. It's important to write letters to the people you love, and the people who love you. And I love my dad. And I really enjoyed spending time writing that letter, and thinking about him, and wondering about him. And Vincent loved his brother Theo, and Theo loved his brother Vincent. And I'm sure the person you love will love receiving a letter from you. Just ask a grown-up you trust for help mailing it off into the world. That's all for today, my friends. Now, get up, go play, and remember, I love you no matter what comes around.